Welcome back to Reverse Engineering News. I'm your host, Hash. Thanks for joining. This week, i got three items for you. An Apple iPhone Lightning Cable Reverse Engineering Project. Travis Goodspeed has made a Bitmask Imaging Tool, which I'll explain what that is. And finally, drones. You know drones. They're those things that are flying over your backyard while you're just out trying to enjoy the day. Stop doing that. Stop flying over people's backyards with your freaking drone. Now, this lightning cable project by Stack Smashing is awesome. It covers everything clearly and concisely, from disassembling the cable itself using acetone, to taking the connector apart and putting a logic analyzer in the middle of that to capture all of the traffic, turning that traffic into ones and zeros, figuring out even how to do that, then turning those ones and zeros into hex data and ultimately analyzing the data back and forth. It's a great video. I highly suggest you watch it. Next, Travis Goodspeed has come up with a bitmask imaging tool. That tool is used to look at silicon inside of a chip. So let me break this down for you. In a microchip, you use some acid to dissolve the top layer. Ben at Applied Science has a great old video that covers that. Once you get to the silicon, you then have to use a microscope to take a bunch of pictures very close, stitch all those images together into one big clear image. You then feed that into this bitmask imaging tool. It looks at this image, you give it some parameters, and it pulls out the ones and zeros from this kind of cryptic looking image right here. Then you can turn that into the hex data that you can analyze. Now why that's cool is because when products are deployed and they have these ROMs baked onto chips, literally it's part of the chip, it's not changeable. Like once that product is out there, you find bugs, you find zero day flaws, you find ways to dump the memory. All that stuff just lives forever out there. So it's amazing when you're able to attack silicon. There's some hardware and some danger factor involved, but, you know, danger's a part of the game. And finally, drones. This article by Angela Suboy is amazing. It is so in-depth of all of the steps involved in reverse engineering, from learning everything about all of the different communication mechanisms, about drones, about about literally everything, it gives you a fantastic idea of just how much work is involved in reverse engineering something. You don't have to go quite as in-depth, and you don't have to log everything like she did, but you're probably going to end up doing about that much research when you go to attack something, whether you write it down or not. Now stay tuned next week for more reverse engineering news. I'll see you then.